see Diamond of Asia to FIFA president Gianni Infantino. Under his visionary leadership, global football has witnessed an unrivaled era of progress and success. Since being elected in 2016, FIFA president Gianni Infantino has revolutionized the beautiful game by spearheading wide-ranging reforms, expanding global participation in FIFA's flagship competitions, and boosting support to member associations through the Breakthrough Forward program. Emerging stronger from a period of crisis, he led the institution into a new era of stability, accountability, and prosperity, transforming FIFA into a well-respected and trusted partner to so many, including the Asian football family. President Infantino's footprint in the sport spans nearly three decades, and he continues to be an inspirational figure in Asian football, where his invaluable contributions are deeply cherished. He oversaw the delivery of the most successful ever FIFA World Cup in Qatar, where Asia hosted the global event for only the second time in its history. A few short months later, the unprecedented achievements of Qatar 2022 were matched by the rising standards of women's football, with the spotlight again on Asia, as Australia co-hosted the most triumphant FIFA Women's World Cup in history. And the largest ever 48-team FIFA World Cup in 2026 will see a record minimum of eight Asian teams take their places amongst the world's best at the global showpiece. At the same time, the expansions led under his guidance across the FIFA age group and club competitions will pave the way for more Asian sides to develop through world-class competitions as the continent continues to solidify its position as the focal point for global football. More FIFA events and competitions have been held in Asia than ever before, and soon, the attention of the world will turn its gaze upon Asia again when the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia prepares to host the greatest ever global spectacle in 2034. A firm believer of raising the levels of playing and organizational standards, President Infantino has advocated for the world's governing body to assume a more active role as a responsible member of global society. Whether through championing women's football, inclusivity, or the protection of minors and the most vulnerable communities, President Infantino has built strong partnerships with international organizations, including various agencies of the United Nations and ASEAN, to harness the power of football as a driver of positive social progress. The FIFA COVID-19 Relief Plan which made 1.5 billion US dollars available to all 211 member associations, was another fine example of his service leadership and proud legacy, with so many AFC MAs benefiting from the funds when they needed it the most. Prior to his election as FIFA president, he served as director of UEFA's legal affairs and club licensing division in January 2004 before moving on to become its Deputy General Secretary and finally General Secretary in 2009. He was instrumental in enabling the palpable benefits from the historic Memorandum of Understanding between UEFA and the AFC in 2012, which paved the way for knowledge exchange, the establishment of best practices and the promotion of cross-continental football solidarity. For his loyal friendship and his support of football in Asia and the larger football family, it is a great honor for the AFC to confer its most prestigious award, the AFC Diamond of Asia 2023, upon the FIFA president, Giovanni Vincenzo Infantino.
여러 가지로 잘 설명해 주셨었는데 그 감독 선임에 관해서 근데 그 FIFA에서도 뭐 많이 보고를 하긴 하는데 거기에 대해서 잘 이해를 못, 하시, 못 하시고 이해가 잘안 된다 이런 말씀을 많이 하시더라고요 그래가지고 뭐 제가 뭐 진짜 있는 그대로 뭐 이렇게 설명드린 건 있었습니다 그리고 뭐 결국에 가서는 다그 축구협회 회장 책임 아니냐 이렇게 얘기하셨었어요. 너무 이렇게 그 현미경으로 다 봐가지고 이렇게 크게 보면 그 전략 강화위원회에서 추천을 했고 저희가 뭐 적절한 교체를 해가지고 임명했는데 너무 현미경이나 뭐 현미경으로 쳐다봐서 이렇게 하시지 않았나 이런 좀그 아쉬움은 좀 있습니다. <웃음> 감사합니다. <웃음>